Hello fellow Aussians, I'm the Louisiana Quadling and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to the Outer Zone with the Sci-Fi soundtrack. Veraz Saraband released Tin Man on CD in 2007. The CD was issued in a standard jewel case. The front features the promotional poster for Tin Man. The back features a photo of Zoe de Janelle as this version's Dorothy, called DG. Opening up the case reveals the CD, which has a nice printed design of the Old Road, as it's called in the program. Underneath this is the Kansas Farmhouse. The booklet included features black and white photographs from the miniseries. There are no liner notes from the composer or anything written about the soundtrack. The back of the booklet shows the Fab Four with the witch, Azcadelia. Now that we've gotten all that technical stuff out of the way, what do I actually think about the soundtrack? The music was one of the best parts of Sci-Fi Channel's Tin Man. It's written by BAFTA-nominated British composer Simon Boswell. Orchestral, electronic, and ambient sounds make up his Oz soundtrack. While I would say the electronic beats and other elements that are used on this soundtrack sound a lot like other stuff that happened during the early 2000s, there's nothing that's really unique on this soundtrack. The orchestral bits is where the better stuff really is, and the bulk of this album and the soundtrack is made up of orchestral arrangements, which gives the production a really nice grand feeling to it. This album is pretty lengthy. It's almost an hour and 20 minutes long. I'm not too big of a fan of the length of this CD. I feel like some of the tracks could have been omitted here in favor of other ones. Plus, the CD doesn't include the entire soundtrack from the miniseries. Missing from this CD are the original songs, and that's a little bit of a letdown for me. I mean, at least one of the songs is pretty memorable and is definitely something that I still remember to this day, and that's that folk song sounding uh, song. That's not a very good way of describing it, but we're going to go with it. That DG and Azcadelia sang when they were children. And unlike a lot of other soundtrack releases, this CD has all of the tracks from this miniseries presented to you out of order. Now, you know, if you, you know, of course, get this and, you know, upload it to a computer or if you just download it, you could, of course, rearrange the tracks to be in the order of how they appear in the miniseries, but we're talking about how the CD was issued. Since it's set up this way, the album has a very strange sort of start-stop sort of feel to it. The album picks up momentum with the first four tracks, but by the time we get to the fifth track, Cave, the album comes to an abrupt halt. That track is clocking in over seven minutes long, and the bulk of it is ambient sounds. That's it. I almost wish that the composer had done what David Shire did with his original release of Return to Oz that he did where he specially arranged all of his music for that soundtrack release. The album is also written differently from most typical Oz productions. There aren't any main themes associated with each of the characters, for instance. There isn't like a Dorothy theme or a home theme that doesn't exist on this soundtrack. We also don't get themes for the good forces and the bad forces. That's also not here. There are really only two main themes that 
I could really pick out when listening to the soundtrack. And that is the Central City theme and the main theme from Tin Man. Both of those themes can be heard throughout the entire soundtrack. And if you loved this miniseries, I would highly recommend picking it up. Thankfully, this release isn't that difficult to get. Now, if you're not into physical media, you can also download it from Amazon and iTunes. Do you collect physical media, or do you download everything, or do you stream everything? Comment down below. And if you liked that video, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe. New videos are posted every two weeks on the 15th and last day of each month. And if that doesn't satisfy your appetite for Oz, follow the link in the description to ozclub.org and join the International Wizard of Oz Club. Until next time, bye y'all.